In Texas, we are inching closer to a revolution by the minute. This is civil war. Breaking President Biden gives Governor Griga board until tomorrow to allow federal agent to cut swat of Razo wire install at the southern border by the state or face the consequences. In Texas, we are inching closer to a revolution by the minute. The Supreme Court has basically just removed states' rights to protect themselves from an invasion. That is huge. It was a five to four ruling, which means one DC asshole made this decision that could cause irreparable damage to Texas and the country. But Texas is holding the line. Not only are we keeping the feds from cutting the wire, but the state is actually putting up more wire and offering to install it for free on private property. I am so proud to be a Texan right now. I haven't released this statement outlining states rights to constitutional defense when dealing with a lawless president you can pause to read then there's this man that just came across our border illegally yes, by the way if you are smart enough you would know who i am but you are really not smart enough to know who i am but soon you're gonna know who i am very wow very easy the, the entitlement the entitlement no, believe me, I'm much better than that. I'm not even gonna try to say his name, so I put it on the screen. But this is who they're saying he's been identified as. He is chairman of the Azerbaijani Islamic Party terrorist group. He was released from prison on January 19th of last year after serving an 11 year sentence. And now he's somewhere in our country threatening that we will know who he is. Unfortunately, this is what we should be expecting more of if Biden gets his way. Texas, hold the line. Note, Biden can federalize Texas National Guard leaving aboard with no power to resist federal might. Note, Biden as president has the authority to federalize National Guard unit, bringing them under the control of the federal government. Note, however, this is typically done in specific circumstances and with legal justifications such as responding to a national emergency or protecting federal interests. Abbott can claim that he is trying to protect American interests from illegal immigration. Here we have military helping migrants cross into the U.S. illegally. Chris, get up. What is that public area? We're supposed to be here. I didn't say you had to be Documented are coming in our country, guys. Just so you know, we are at the Texas border, Eagle Pass, as we are filming right now. There are a bunch of immigrants just crossing the borders, and our military is more than happy to help. This is unacceptable. The great example of what a yes man and following the orders can get our country. Exactly. And I bet that these two men don't even like this, but children as well. Yeah. Okay. Chris, um, let's, let's talk to, let's, uh, let's ask them where they come from. Is that all right? Let's talk to them. Yeah. Hey guys, speak English. Hey guys. Speak English? Spanish? Spanish? Cool. Can, you, can you ask them where they came from? Can you ask where they This is somebody giving the instances that can happen. What we are seeing is extremely disturbing. I have never seen a country where, you know, protecting the border is a big issue. This is insane. I have a couple of videos I'm going to play so you can see exactly what is going on. If you are not subscribed, please endeavor to do that. And if possible, share this video. What Texas is doing is just very simple. And, and, and that is because the Biden administration has really, truly abdicated its responsibility to secure the border and enforce the laws. Texas, very simply, is securing the border. And so we put up the razor wire that you were talking about, Bill, and, and we put up all these barricades that actually have denied illegal entry. Uh, and as you pointed out also in that screen, that there are criminals coming across our border. Texas has a right as a state to stop criminals from coming into our state to make arrests of those criminals. And, and we have National Guard as well as Texas Department of Public Safety officers who are there to make those arrests and to deny illegal entry. Mm -hmm. And Joe Biden actually does have an option here. Joe Biden's option is to enforce the laws of the United States and stop this illegal entry. 
Yes, reacting to this tweet from Vivek, they claim that Texas is defying the U.S. Supreme Court is flat out false. The court heard that Fed can remove the razor wire that Texas is installing on the border, but that does not stop Texas from still continuing to install the razor wire there. Constitutional crisis averted. Yesterday, Governor Abbott sent this out, my statement on Texas' constitutional right to self-defense. And a lot of people saw this. Many, you know, people are coming out to support him that he has the right to defend Texas. I want to know your opinion. Partaking to this, is it right for him to protect his state? Or what exactly? I want to know under the comment sections. When I take a look at what is happening at the southern border, it's very concerning. So, the Biden administration is actually now encouraging people to come through this way. Democrats are saying the president needs to federalize uh, the Texas National Guard. So, look, Is that something that could happen? I mean, look, I'll say this, uh, you know, the Border Patrol agents are now, as you said, allowed to cut through the wire because of what the Supreme Court has laid out. It's, it's unfortunate that we had to go there. It's unfortunate that there is a governor in Texas, Governor Abbott, who has politicized this issue of what's happening on the border. And it's not making people's lives safer. It's actually making it harder for law enforcement at the, at the border to do their job. And so we have been very clear. We want to make sure we get something done at the border. That's why we've been having these conversations with Senate Republicans and Democrats for the past several weeks to come up with a bipartisan agreement right. to deal with the border. What's going on, TikTok? Listen, y'all, I know a lot of you guys see what's happening right now over there at Texas, right? I know a lot of you guys see what's happening at the border of Texas, right? So listen, I got some for y'all. I got some explanation for you guys. I'm going to show you guys why this shit is taking place, the reason why this is taking place. So coming in, let me show you guys something. So check this out. All right, now, there we go, y'all. Listen to this, y'all. Listen to this, y'all. Listen to this right here. So check this out. Of the standoff between the federal government and the state of Texas at the southern border. The Biden administration is demanding that Texas allow Border Patrol agents full access to a crossing point in the border town of Eagle Pass and is currently being blocked by the Texas National Guard. CBS's Omar Villafranca is at the site of the stalemate. This is Shelby Park on the Rio Grande. It is now the new battleground between the state of Texas and the federal government. To come through this way, I don't get the point. Somebody doing the right thing is now a problem. I really want to know why they advocate that this should be open. So people can enter, right? I have not seen a single country that is doing this. Look at the border Egypt has put up with these same wires. Very tall up. It is impossible for somebody to come inside until it's reaching a level where you are seeing security forcing, even helping these people to come in. Please, you know, bend it this way, turn it the other way. You can come inside. Please stand there. That is what I've observed on the video you saw. It is concerning. If care is not taken, more people will see this and will come in numbers. I'm not lying. It is high time they realize Though we know exactly why they're doing it, but it's concerning. I saw a video where they tried to identify one man that is, I don't know if he's a terrorist or what. You know, the guy is going viral, which is somebody that has spent about 10 years in prison.